Good morning, YouTube people. Today I am showing part one of changing out my DEF heater, which is causing an error P205B and P205C so that I can't start my engine if I run out of kilometers because the AdBlue level sensor is getting a low voltage signal issue. So basically that comes down to this. If your car happens to be within the warranty period, this is a technical service bulletin and you could possibly get this done under a recall or extended warranty. So anyway, uh, the short of it is 2014 model of the Volkswagen Passat 2.0 turbo diesel. This is the B7 uh, Passat trendline. And of course, it's a little different than all the other videos. So um, getting at this, you don't need to take off the whole rear bumper. You can if you want to. I broke a little bit of a clip here already. Uh, probably threw it out already. But uh, oh, there it is. There's one of the clips that I broke when I was pulling back the bumper to get access to the DEF tank here. Now, I am doing it by myself. It is possible to do it by yourself just to undo this. Um, so if you have a mud flap, I believe these are T25s. Is that going to fit on there? Yeah, that's the one. So this is a T25. So the majority of, of the, the bolts are T25s. Um, these are the bolts that hold up the tank in three spots. One, two, and three. And they are 13 millimeter. Um, there are some little screws. These were t10s and these clips and screws go underneath the very back of the bumper right under here uh here there's a hole there and the clip is just in there and it secures it to uh, uh, secures it to the frame so being able to move this a little bit is enough that you can get it out. Hi, Vixie. Um, so the other thing uh, that some of the videos show is that in your in your bumper, they show a screw going through sideways like this. Like you'd have to get in and pull it out s from sideways to like get your your socket in there. That's again not the case with the 2014 model. It seems you will have to take off the the t25s here 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 and then there's one up here just under here to get uh, and then you will have to just pull you're gonna have to pull and it will pop off of these clips here and then they look just like this one that i happen to snap off so they are sticking out like that so have fun with that i'm not 100 percent sure the best way to do it without breaking one uh you just kind of have to pull and then hope that it it uh it unhooks itself while it goes you don't need to get too far up um, if you did want to take this off which i don't see why you would need to it's not really in the way. Uh, the hidden screw is right there. And I suppose that's probably also a T25. I will just, uh, this is also a T25. Let's see if that fits in there. And yeah, yeah, that's a T25. Okay. Um, the other thing is these lines so these lines they secure onto the frame above above the tire uh, support <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, so we have two different sizes of connectors. And then, I, oh, I better clean that up actually. So this is your DEF line here. Best to make sure that I don't, don't get any dirt in there. What I should do is probably just wrap it in one of my gloves here. My used gloves that are slightly better. I keep tripping over my dog. Make sure you don't get a whole bunch of dirt in that line. And then you have the three connectors, all different sizes. And I found that the best way to get at these clips here was actually just to put a flathead screwdriver in. Um, you could use a pick, but that might potentially damage. Just use a thin flat screwdriver and it'll lift the clip up this is very hard you can see the last technician who worked on my car broke this so i wouldn't have been able to use it anyway uh, they're very very stiff and almost impossible to flick up that way so uh, and you will have to just kind of wiggle back and forth you know trying to trying to get these loose they are located so the the this is where the tank is by the way uh, <clears throat> they're gonna come out here and they're gonna come over here and then they go up to there gets better light on that and that's that's where they connect all of them including the the other side of the line which I will tidy up uh, and then they all just clip in so there's some there are some clips built into these connectors right here. Let's see if I can get this light up better. Okay. Uh, so these have supposedly little clips. This one kind of came off. This one still has it on there. So they just slide on and off. Like they're supposed to kind of move off the connector and then just fit into these holes. Well, this one came off of this connector and this one just sits in like that. So they're supposed to sit in like that. If they don't and they're broken, maybe just use a zip tie and go through here and, and zip it around uh, just keep it up. So above this, uh, the support suspension, this arm, your axle arm, I guess you'd call it. Um, yeah, hi. Can you, can you, okay. Good girl, good girl. Um, all right, so getting those off was not too hard. Getting the, the line off the DEF was a little more tricky. So I'll uh, cover this here and I'll get. I'll try and get this out in the light. fighting me here um, so this has a, a pinch clip it's very it stays on there pretty good but it uh, you gotta you gotta push on it pretty hard it hurts your fingers so what I used was some needle nose pliers and I grabbed onto it while I was under there and it's gonna be frustrating but you you pinch it and then because it's so stuck, I got a flat head right between, and I just kind of twisted carefully a wider flat head, and then you can kind of pull the pipe out, and it'll slip out. And then at some point you get past this anyway, and then you can just kind of slowly pull and pull it out on your own without having to use the tools to do it. Uh, again, similar with the small one, flat head, flat head into there, lift it up. Uh, and then these are just, uh, they're just clipped up there. And let's see if I can find the holes. Yeah, so they're just, they're just clipped like, 
up there somewhere. Uh, yeah, they were, I believe they were just right there. And they were just held on like that. Okay, um, getting it down. Getting it down was not as hard as it might be, but you do need, you need height. You absolutely need height. So I have some, some ramps. These are the ramps I have. Height wise, let's see how high. So these are uh, about six and a half inches, six and a half inches high, and it barely, barely, barely cleared the bumper right here with this lid. So it's it's pretty tall, especially with the jack that I'm using. You have a smaller jack, maybe use that, maybe get the higher, but. I just, I just had the jack so that I could, you know, bring it down gently and it worked by taking off. I took, I took the, the front one off first and I took the inner one off and I had this jacked up. I got a piece of, uh, just old rubber lying around to make sure I don't mar up the bottom. And then I took this out and tried to keep my elbow up there and just, I steadied this while I let this down a little. I just unscrewed it. It started letting itself down slowly and I just braced it and let it come down on its own. Cause I, I didn't drain mine first. You might want to drain it cause there's 20 liters of DEF in there and that's kind of heavy. So if you want it easier, drain it. I unfortunately thought that all that was going on was that I was low. So that wasn't the case with my air. All right, well, that's part one. I'm gonna clean up all the dirt. There is a massive amount of fine dirt here, potentially blocking my breathers for the tank. And uh, when I get my part, um, I'm, I got the Dorman brand, I don't remember Exactly, I think it's like 904378 is the model. I can probably post it in the description. But uh, I hope this helps you, and good luck on your, on your DEF tank removal.